And family and friends have gathered to pay their last respects to one of Nigerian's producers, directors and actors, Vincent Dejumor Lewis, who was laid to rest. The event, which was held in Lagos, had popular filmmaker Tunde Kelani, a representative of Lagos State Government, among others, in attendance. At a lion estate in Lagos, family, friends, guests arrived to see the quintessential Vincent Dejumo Lewis's corpse for the last time. Tears cascaded down on the faces of some, while others were there to comfort them. From there, his remains were moved to Holy Cross Cathedral at Catholic Mission Street, Lagos Island. At the church, the officiating minister, Very Reverend Monsignor Bernard Okodua, offers prayers for the deceased as the congregation joins the choir to sing hymns. You give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather to your people to yourselves so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Popular Nigerian filmmaker Tunde Kilani shares his experience working with the late Dejumo Lewis. I happened to have worked with him in NTA where he played the pioneering role of the village dead master, Oloja. And he carried it on stage and off stage. He was Kabiesi Adeposipo in Mainframe Productions Agogoe War. He comes with a large dose of humility. He was famous, but he didn't carry it. Kilani says the late icon's contribution to the entertainment industry will not be forgotten in a hurry. He was home with everybody and inspired all of us. So we can never, never forget him. Even I can disclose here that the next film I'm going to make, Agogo War 2, we are going to pay a tribute to his memory. So may his soul rest in peace. The first daughter of the deceased, Adiola Folabi, says one thing no one could take away from his father was that he was apologetic whenever he was wrong. She wished him eternal rest. What I remember the most is his voice. He had a wonderful voice and he sang a lot. And then he taught us how to sing, but he sang a lot. He was, uh, he was very thoughtful, very thoughtful and very forgiving. He can say sorry when he hurts. And I, I find that hard with the way we were, the way we grew up. Most parents don't know how to say sorry, but my daddy would tell you he's sorry when he's sorry. If he has to be with the Lord, he has no choice. More tributes poured in for Dejumo Lewis as his son-in-law, Chukuma Osakwe, recounted the moment he sought the hands of the thespian's daughter's hands in marriage. He describes him as a detribalized Nigerian. The wife of Osakwe, Adelola, corroborated her husband's view, hoping to see her father's wish for Nigeria come through. I, I saw the side that the rest of the world um, didn't see because I met a very playful man. When I arrived, he said "Oh, um, that he'd always known and prayed that one of his children, especially the males, um, should marry an Igbo person but that this is his daughter now bringing an Igbo man, so that he's happy that his family is around. He wanted um, intertribal marriages. There's so many of them, but they always ended with hugs and kisses. So for me, those are the things I'll miss the, the very most. So I'm wishing him good rest. And I'm trusting that his desires for us will come to be, right? And also that his desire for this nation, as we call that cultural unity, is something that would really, really come to be not in the not so distant future. Vincent Dejumo Lewis, an accomplished TV producer and director, played the role of Kabiesi in Nigeria's longest running soap opera, Village Headmaster, which aired on the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA. He was one time lecturer at the NTA College, Joss, Plateau State, and manager of programs at NTA Ibadan 
until his retirement in 1999. The late TV star was born on the 28th of July, 1943, and passed on the 22nd of December, 2023, at the age of 80. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.